Hi guys and welcome to U-Wrench. Today we're going to be taking a look at how your basic coolant system works in your vehicle. Let's take a look. Okay, start with the most obvious. Uh, at the front of the car here, uh, you've got your radiator and uh, obviously cold air is drawn in uh, as you drive along, goes in there and that actually cool, helps cool down the, uh, the coolant as it circulates around the system. Uh, additionally on the uh, back uh, of here you also have your uh, system fan probably won't be able to see that quite on the video but you've got a large fan down in there as well that aids with the uh, the airflow to try and keep that cool and this radio actually has like has like a little uh, tank uh, on the bottom of it and uh, it come it kind of circulates through the engine um, via the radiator so it'll come out of the uh, the bottom of the uh, radiator you'll have a uh, lower it's actually on this side on this particular vehicle uh, down at the bottom there, don't know how well you'll pick it up on the video, there's a hose that comes out of the, uh, the bottom of the radiator, quite a big hose with a, a metal clip there, and that actually comes into the, uh, the bottom of the engine itself. And the way that it works is basically the, um, the coolant circulates uh, around the, uh, the sides of the engine usually, where the, it'll be probably in this direction, so this engine's kind of fitted sideways. Uh, so you've got your pistons going up and down, um, creating your, your, your combustion, and, gener and obviously that generates a lot of heat. And so you, you'll have your, um, your coolant that's circulating around that to help uh, regulate the, uh, the temperature that's inside there. Now we have what's called a thermostat, uh, which is attached to the uh, the upper hose, which I'll show you in just a second. Basically, what the thermostat does, it um, regulates the other uh, temperature. So you've got all that coolant flowing around inside that engine, trying to uh, keep the engine cool. Now, when that coolant starts to get a little bit too hot, your thermostat has got a little valve in it, and that valve will open at a certain temperature, and that will allow the coolant to come out of the engine. Uh, back into the radiator so your thermostat is actually uh, located down here and whether you can see that little thing with the, the little cross on the uh, on the top of it there that's your thermostat thermostat right there so when the uh, when the coolant gets uh, to a, a certain temperature starts to get a little bit too hot this uh, valve will open and this is connected to this large hose right here which is your upper radiator hose and this brings it back into the top of the radiator on the opposite corner to the um, the bottom hose and so that will just kind of keep cycling and circulating around so it will come in it'll be hot as it comes in it will circulate down through the radiator get cooled by the air e either from driving or from the uh, fan or a combination of both and then by the time it gets down to the uh, bottom of the radiator again it will have uh, cooled enough that it can be uh, cycled back through that lower hose back into the engine and the whole thing uh, keeps uh, keeps going a couple of things that are worth uh, bearing in mind especially when it comes to um, doing your coolant change is uh, in addition to that system uh, also your coolant actually goes into the um, uh, compartment inside your car it's actually used for your your heating so when you turn your heater on inside your car uh, you have like a little mini radiator uh, looks like a kind of a, an intercooler uh, it's like a very very small version of, of this and that's actually up under your uh, dashboard and coolant will actually flow around that a hot coolant uh, will flow around that when you turn the controls on and that will heat the interior of the car so when you do a coolant change that will come in um, uh, especially important as we get uh, further into the process we're going to have to um, look at that uh, as you'll see as we as we uh, get a little bit further down and the other thing to uh, bear in mind as well just very quickly is uh, this is a non-pressurized um, uh, coolant reservoir on this particular car uh, some are under pressure some aren't this one's a non-pressurized one and this is um, uh, topped up with a, a certain level of um, coolant has a minimum and maximum mark and so what will actually uh, happen is uh, your radiator cap here uh, actually um, it's designed as a, a relief valve so it operates up to a, a certain pressure it usually says on top that this one is 16 uh, psi so what will happen when that thermostat opens and it wants to pump this uh, pump the uh, hot coolant back into the top of the radiator uh, you'll get a build up of pressure because obviously there's a lot of heat in there and so it will that pressure would stop effectively this uh, coolant being able to come back in to the radiator so what this does if it gets to a certain pressure over 16 psi this has got a little uh, a little valve inside it so they're actually spring loaded you see it's got a little uh, a little spring a uh, little spring on it so what happens when it gets uh, above 16 psi this will actually open 
uh, inside and it will allow um, the um, excess pressure which uh, will be in, in the form of uh, air usually to um, flow down here uh, into the very bottom of this tank and that will just and obviously it'll just come up as bubbles and you actually have like a little, uh, an over, little overflow uh, thing just in there and so the air will just naturally uh, come out of there and then what will happen when your engine cools down it will actually suck coolant back in so the level is always uh, constant so the whole thing's like a like a cycle so you'll see that uh, when the engine's very um, very hot and it's been running uh, it, you know, it might be quite high in the reservoir and then you'll check it the next morning when it's cold and it's gone right down again uh, as long as it's obviously still between the minimum and maximum that's absolutely fine that's normal uh, so those are the two kind of things to bear in mind is, is the uh, uh, this cap and also that the coolant does actually go inside the, uh, the cabin of the car as well. So there we have it guys, that's a basic overview of how the uh, coolant system works uh, in your vehicle. Hopefully this video has been interesting or helpful for you. Uh, if it has, can you please be sure to hit that uh, like button before you leave us on YouTube. If you could hit subscribe, it would be very, very much appreciated. We have loads more uh, great content on our YouTube channel. Please be sure to take a look before you leave. Thanks guys, we'll see you again.